The campaign staff of Mayor Pete Buttigieg don't seem to like the press too much. Uh, and they also don't seem to like people handing out leaflets at their rallies. Uh, now, this is uh, Norman Solomon, who's a co-founder and national director of RootsAction.org, was recently uh, at a Buttigieg rally over the weekend, and he was doing what a lot of people do, uh, handing out some literature about Medicare for All. Uh, in fact, he was uh, passing out this leaflet that debunked some of the narratives that Pete Buttigieg has been saying about Medicare for All. Uh, now, look, that's perfectly harmless. Again, I, I see people handing out literature at different rallies all the time. However, the Buttigieg campaign took specific umbrage with this leaflet. Uh, now, he writes, quote, Minutes after Pete Buttigieg finished speaking in an auditorium at Keene State College in New Hampshire on Saturday, a Pete for America official confronted me outside the building while I was handing out a flyer with the headline, Medicare for All, Not Healthcare Profiteering for the Few. Now, this man came up to Mr. Sol uh, Mr. Solomon uh, and said, hey, uh, you can't pass that out. Again, this is, this is literature, right? Uh, now, the man, to show you who's official, uh, was described as having a Pete Metal badge in his lapel. Uh, and he was telling Mr. Solomon that he, had spoke, that he was allowed to speak on behalf of the Buttigieg campaign. So that, again, that's important. That's not some rando Pete fan. Uh, that's getting after this guy and saying, hey, you can't do that. No, this was official, which suggests that this is an, this this is official campaign policy to stop people from handing out stuff that contradicts what Mayor Pete ha has been advocating for. Uh, OK, so now Solomon's response was basically, hey, piss off. Right. I have the First Amendment. I can hand out whatever I want. Right. I, I, this is public, this is a public college, right? And so it's not like I'm trespassing on private property. I, I can be here. All I'm doing is just handing out flyers. And so this Buttigieg staffer gets huffy, right? And then walks away. Now you think that that was the end, but no, in pure Buttigieg fashion, he calls the manager, except Replace manager with campus police. So now, according to Solomon, the staffer quickly returned with a campus policeman. This campus policeman went up and, and told Solomon uh, that he should uh, stop distributing that leaflet. Don't do it. You're not allowed to. It wasn't just that, that one campus police officer, then two Keen city police officers had arrived. So just call the manager, right? Uh, hey, you can't do that. I don't like what you're doing right now. So uh, you, need to, you need to get out of here. Again, it's not as if we haven't seen people handing out literature at rallies a hundred times. If you go to rallies, and I've been to a few myself, by the way, uh, there's always somebody passing out some sort of literature, some sort of leaflets, right? And normally I get them from the World Socialist website, right? That's like those people are always uh, at the rallies that I go to. <laughs> but apparently you can't hand those out at Pete's rallies. According to Solomon's account, the Buttigieg officials stood a few feet behind the police officers as they threatened him with arrest for trespassing. Again, this is a public college, Keene State University. Paid for by public tax dollars. They still was no, nope, no, nope, you're you're gonna be arrested if you don't leave. In fact, he was then ordered to get off the campus within a few minutes or actually be arrested. And to top it off, he was then handed a one year ban from Keene State College's entire campus. An entire year. You're booted. Hey, free speech warriors on the right. Hey, you want to talk about people getting uh, uninvited to speak at college campuses? This guy literally got kicked off a college campus for distributing pro-Medicare for all leaflets. Dave Rubin, where are you, Dave? Are you going to talk about this or not? I mean, this is perfect for your show. Oh, oh, that's right. 
you're not a progressive. You don't actually care at all about policy. No, it's this outrage. And if it doesn't happen to a fellow right winger, well, then you don't give a crap. So obviously the free speech warriors, you're not at all interested in this story. Nobody is, except for actual progressives who actually do care about freedom of speech. Now, again, this is incredibly both ridiculous and un-American. What happened to the freedom of speech? So now my guess is, and, and it might sound a, a little conspiratorial, right? But I think Pete's staff and Pete himself probably has a rule where we're not going to allow this kind of thing uh, because we don't want people to see the reality of Medicare for all. Not only that, but I've heard from two people that uh, I do know, um, two uh, reporters. Uh, you have a uh, host of the Combo Couch, uh, Craig uh, Jardula, um, and you also have a uh, host of Status Coup, uh, Jordan Sheridan, who also alleged to have been basically harassed and, and bullied by Pete staffers when they are doing interviews of people outside of these Pete rallies. So there are journalists now that are also being harassed by these Pete uh, staffers. And so, look, that's a disaster, okay? And, and again, I think it has to do with people uh, in, the, in the Buttigieg campaign not wanting to be challenged, not wanting Pete's lies about policy to be challenged by anyone else. Again, Pete Buttigieg, let me point out the lies, right? Pete Buttigieg, uh, he, he talks about Medicare for all. He says, well, I'm in favor of Medicare for all who want it, right? Now, all that is is a public option. That's not actual Medicare for all. So stealing the name is, is ridiculous, right? But th again, that's part of political brain. So, okay, whatever, right? Now, what's interesting about this, right, uh, is that it's a, it's a switch in his position that he had had a couple of years ago. Back before this, uh, he tweeted this out. I, Pete Buttigieg, politician, do henceforth and forth with declare, most affirmatively and indubitably unto the ages, that I do favor Medicare for all, as I do favor any measure that would help get American, all Americans covered. He says, well, I'm in favor of Medicare for all. Well, now he's suddenly not in favor of Medicare for all. In fact, uh, at the recent, deba uh, recent debates, he's been out there criticizing Bernie Sanders' uh, Medicare for all plan. So come on, dude. Uh, now, the reason that he's changed his position is because of the money. Follow the money, Lebowski, which tells me, of course, that Buttigieg has no core. He tried this progressive hat on for a while, and it was... And it was fine. He was getting some votes. But again, he was being beaten by Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Uh, and so not only that, but it didn't pay very well. So he switched. Now he's anti-Medicare for all, pro-public option, uh, which, by the way, public option has numerous issues, mainly that it could be undermined by uh, for-profit insurance companies. And by the way, the flyer points out some of these problems. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'm going to read you a part of this, Right. Buttigieg is claiming, and this is in the flyer, uh, that got this guy, again, banned from a college for a year. Buttigieg is claiming that Medicare for all would dump people off health coverage and deprive them of choice. Those insurance company, those are industry uh, insurance industry talking points. He's deliberately confusing the current choice of predatory for-profit insurance plans with the genuine full choice of healthcare providers that enhanced Medicare for everyone would offer. That was enough. To get this guy kicked out, handing that out at a Buttigieg route. Uh, look, those are the talking points. And we know, by the way, those are talking points from the insurance industry because, look, the guy who came up with them basically admitted it. Remember, he, Wendell Potter. Wendell Potter used to work for Cigna as a health insurance industry communications director. So he knows. He came up with them. He worked with people like Frank Luntz and the insurance lobbying groups to attack Medicare for All which is what Pete Bud Buttigieg is using now. In fact, you have Buttigieg, Biden, and Klobuchar all using the same talking points to attack Medicare for all. And they're using these industry talking points. And it's not because they're true. It's because Medicare for all threatens their profit margins. It threatens their very existence. So it doesn't shock me at all that Bu the Buttigieg campaign, which is funded, by health insurance executives, health insurance companies, 
so badly wants to prevent the truth about single payer from getting out to the supporters who maybe if they knew, if they knew the truth, would no longer support Mayor Pete. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.